everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley if you're new here and today I'm going to be going over my fall TBR so today for my fall TBR it's gonna be kind of fall atmospheric books as well as like spooky books I don't have any thrillers on this TBR just because I'm probably gonna pick them up as I go and just kind of decide as I go which ones I want to read today is gonna be just mostly like fall vibes spooky kind of I have some middle grade and YA spooky books as well as just some fall vibes so without further ado let's go I also got my first pumpkin spice latte of the season and I'm so excited that it's back I've been making my own pumpkin spice cold foam at home with oat milk and then I just put a little bit of the pumpkin spice seasoning in it like dry seasoning but when I put it in my like Nespresso milk frother on the cold foam setting you can't like tell that the seasoning was dry it kind of gets fully dissolved by the cold foam and so I've been doing that since like June and I'm obsessed with it but I'm happy that I was able to get one from Starbucks today and I'm feeling very tired so hopefully it helps me get through this video with a little pep so the first book I picked up is Shady Hollow and this cover is just absolutely the cutest thing ever and this one of town called Shady Hollow and it's just a bunch of talking animals <laughs> but it's an adult book I thought it was definitely YA or even middle grade but it's adult and we have our main character who's a fox and she's a reporter her name is Vera Vixen and she kind of finds out that a recent death in the town is kind of being investigated as a murder so she kind of gets down to it to try and figure out who might have been the murderer and it's just kind of going through her investigating and it sounds very cozy and I'm really excited for this one it seems like a very good mix of like a cozy like an adult cozy mystery as well as like a middle grade kind of with just like the talking animal setting so I'm very excited for this one I also have the sequel that I got as a bargain book so I have that to pick up if I want to after I finish this one so the next one that I have is the first and second in the Aveline series I don't actually know what the series is called but the first one is the haunting of Aveline Jones and then the sequel is the Bewitching of Aveline Jones. There is a third, but I just got the first two and I'm so excited for these. These ones are middle grade and I'm gonna tell you about the first one, not the sequel. So Aveline loves to read ghost stories, but then she comes across a very spooky old book and she finds out that the book belonged to a girl that went missing named Primrose. She decides to investigate Primrose's disappearance and she has help from her new friend, Harold. I don't know anything about Harold, but he's her new friend. And it says now something or someone is stirring and it's looking for Aveline. So this one, I am so excited Excited. it's not very long so I'll probably read this one and the sequel depending if I like the first one so yeah so another one that I have that I've already talked about I believe briefly is unexpecting and this one actually came out on August 22nd but I am going to read it in the fall just because like look at that cover and it's set in school settings so I'm kind of gonna save it for back to school and fall and this one says that it is Juno meets Heartstopper and I'm so excited just based on that our main character comes out as gay but then he also finds out that he is an expecting dad after a science experiment at camp went wrong I don't really know anything else after that but that already just sounds really intriguing so I cannot wait for this one and just again the cover is amazing. Another one that I have is a sequel to a graphic novel that I've spoken about previously, Garlic and the Vampire, and this one is Garlic and the Witch. And I'm so excited for this one. So Garlic is named Agnes and she lives with her other little vegetable friends and she has really bad anxiety. And so the first one, she kind of overcame her anxiety and made a friend despite, you know, thinking the worst. And so this one, I'm so excited for. Even just like the color palette is just so fall and I'm just, so excited for the next one I have is a little spookier and that one is horrid and can we just take a second for this cover like that's intense so I don't want to know too much about this but basically we have our main character Jane and after her father's death her and her mom moved to Maine from California back to like an old dilapidated house that her mom grew up in basically it's a spooky old manor the mom is like not doing well with the return to her childhood home I'm just really excited about this one I got it last year for spooky season I never read it and I actually didn't really know about the synopsis so I'm really excited to read this one now that I know more about it so the next one is the sequel to Clown in a Cornfield and so this is Clown in a Cornfield 2 Friendo Lives and Clown in a Cornfield the first one was basically like a high school massacre during a Halloween party. Some students like were gunned down at a party and it was just so crazy. I've never read anything like it because I don't really get into like that kind of spooky genre. This one was definitely like scary for me even though I do believe it's YA. So our main character from book one, Quinn, this takes place a year later when she's a freshman at university 
and basically she starts seeing friend of the clown around again and it goes from there i only read the first like line or two and that's all i want to know about it so i'm excited for this one again and again the cover is just so good. Another one that I have is more on the light side and that is The Witches of Moonshine Manor. And this one I'm really excited about. So this one says a coven of modern day witches, magical heist gone wrong and a looming threat. Apparently they've gotten behind on their mortgage payments on Moonshine Manor and there's something to do with the mob and they need to be able to pay. And then in the little blurb I just said there's a heist. So I'm excited for this one. It seems to be a little bit funny with witches. So what else do you need? By the way, there's a lot of my fall TBR because like fall started for me at the beginning of August. So I have a long time. I have from like now basically until November 1st. So that's why there's so many. So the next one is the third in the Babysitter's Coven series, which is called Spells Like Teen Spirit. And I'm so excited for this one because I love the first two so much. So we have our two main characters from the first two books, Esme and Cassandra. And I don't really want to get into it too much, but basically in the first book, a bunch of stuff goes wrong and they're kind of learning about themselves and their family histories, kind of discovering more about themselves. And I can't wait to continue on with the series. And the next one is the first in the Greystone Secret series, and that is The Strangers. And again, the cover is just amazing. I'm so excited for this. There's a few in the series, I believe. And this one is middle grade. So we have Chess and his two siblings. Then all of a sudden, three siblings go missing with the exact same names and birth dates as our main characters. So they're wondering like what's going on. That's really weird. That's not just a coincidence. Like what's happening and before they can ask their mom she takes off on like this mysterious business trip and they find hidden rooms complex codes and kind of like their life is turning upside down so this one sounds so cute and a little bit spooky and interesting. Another one is The Land of Lost Things, and this one comes out on September 19th, I believe. Basically, Phoebe, she's an eight-year-old girl, and she goes into a coma, and her mom is, like, by her side at the hospital, but there's an abandoned spooky building on the hospital grounds, and it's kind of calling to her mom. And so, basically, she goes to this building, and she enters it and goes on, like, some sort of journey where it has a lot to do with the fairy tales and folklore stories that she was told when she was younger. So there's witches, dragons, all that kind of stuff. So so this one I'm so excited about. There is a first one that came out a while ago, like I think in the early 2000s, and you don't have to read that one before you read this one. I haven't read that one. And this one I am so excited for. I've been waiting for so long to read it, and that is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. Again, can we get a moment for the cover? Like, amazing. And so this one we have Emily Wilde and she's a professor and she goes to the north to study fairy folklore and it says she discovers dark magic, friendship, and love in this heartwarming and enchanting fantasy. I haven't read the rest of the synopsis and I don't really want to so this one I am so excited. I've been putting this off for a while and I don't know why so I just can't wait to dive in. And then we have Camp Sylvania and this one is by Julie Murphy who also wrote Dumplin and that series. And that Dumplin' was turned into a Netflix movie. We have our main character, Magnolia, or known as Maggie, and she is sent to camp. Her parents tell her it's a performing arts camp, and it actually ends up being a fat camp run by a wellness influencer named Sylvia Sylvania. Things are kind of really weird. There's a lot of like blood kind of things going on, and I think you can kind of figure out the rest. So I'm really looking forward to this one. It's not very long, and I think it's gonna be a fun, cute little read. Okay, and last is a short little one. And this one is called Dead Leaves, Nine Tales from the Witching Season. And this one I am so, so excited for. I think it's gonna be really scary and spooky. This author is a Bram Stoker Award winner and I am just so thrilled to read this. It has the nine stories and I get very scared easily. So this will probably be a daytime read for me. So that is my fall TBR, my little spooky season TBR. And I'm gonna be throwing thrillers in there as well. And I'll mention those in my monthly wrap ups, but yeah, so I cannot wait for spooky season. I really hate summer and I'm so happy it's coming to an end. We also just dealt with a bunch of wildfires in my area and my apartment was on evacuation alert. So I'm just kind of excited for all of that to be done until I like, get past the fire season. Let me know if you've read any of these or if you have any thoughts. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye.